All right, so the other uh, All-Star game that was this week was the right. Eastern League All-Star, All-Star game, game that was which, as, every, as uh, people have known by now, which changed every, because it uh, used to be the double A All Star game where it would be, you know, the stars American League versus National League. But now it's actually broken down into the individual leagues. So it was just the EL Eastern League All Star game, the Western Division versus the Eastern Division. So the Western Division actually won the game with a score of five to nothing. <laughs> Uh, so the with a score of five, uh, it was it was in the new, it was at uh, New Britain so Stadium, five, and uh, let's see the MVP went Stadium. to uh, let's see the MVP went to trying to find it the uh, or the top star trophy went to uh, Richmond's Javier Herrera, whose first inning home run effectively set up set of the game. Uh, 18 pitchers worked the game. West starter Mike Wright from Bowie picked up the win. And for his efforts, the Stanley Black and Decker MVP award as well. So Mike Wright from Bowie picked up the MVP for that. And this is coming from uh, MILB.com, this information. So uh, check it out. That's where we get a lot of our information for the Rockcats, who are the AA affiliate of the, of the uh, Minnesota Twins and also the Connecticut Tigers. Uh, just just a note for the uh, Rockcats, at least their home one of their home stars, uh, Josh Neil Pinto, went uh, two for four during the game, uh, counting for two of the hits with a double for the uh, Eastern Division All Stars. However, of course, none of none of them went for a uh, went for a uh, run because there was no score. A little. Uh, Let's see, some other news from uh, from the AA, uh, the Rockcats, some other news from uh, Newtown, from the NBA new sign on the left field, the center Rockcats, field, left center field, field from Newtown, honoring the victims of the Hook Elementary School shootings, Rockcats interns and Newtown natives Lisa Vendel and Nicole Elias unveiled the sign, which sits below the left center field light tower. The sign features 26 stars and a green ribbon, and it will remain on the wall for the rest of the season and possibly permanently. Uh, Governor Daniel Malloy was there. Local American Idol sing, sing uh, the national anthem, which was Erin Christine of Madison, and she was a season 12 contestant on American Idol, and she was she sang it prior to the game. As far as the uh, the Eastern League All Star Home Run. Home Run Derby, the, uh, I actually have to check that up. I forgot to look at that, showing that I'm human. I actually have to check that up. I forgot to look at that, showing that I'm human. Anyways, uh, while, while I uh, look that up, uh, as a matter of fact, I'll bring that up Anyways, later uh, on. I, uh, uh, because I don't want to waste too much time. Later on. Because I don't want to waste too much time. Let's see. Okay, the Eastern League's Home Run Derby. The... Uh, who was the one that Bowie's Caleb Joseph? Who was won the? Bowie's Caleb Joseph. Yep, he was kind of champion. Was with a total score of three ten, and uh, I'm not sure how they score it. But the, he edged out Harrisburg Stephen Souza Jr. And uh, so we go back to the Rockcats now. They're right now. They're they are playing tonight. Um, I believe they're back on schedule tonight. And uh, um, I believe they're back on schedule. Going going uh, into some uh, stats for the Rockcats. Eric Ferris, who's played in one game, is one for two, with 500 average. Eric but uh, their, their, their main uh, their main player, Josh Mil Pinto, is a 318 average at 53 for. No, I'm sorry, 40 for 119. Uh, Delbinson Romero, who's their third baseman, has a 355 average, and uh, Antoine Richardson is a center fielder, 336 average. So hopefully they're they're uh, starting to hit. Um, the Rockets have moved into third place. They are at 45 and 45. Um, I'm, yes, they are in third place. Uh, behind the Binghamton Mets, who are 55 and 33, who are in first place in the Eastern Division of the Eastern League. The Portland Sea Dogs are 45 and 44. The Rockets and the Thunder are actually tied at 45 and 45. 
the Rock Cats and Thunder the are New Hampshire Fisher Cats are 44 and 46, and the Reading Fighting Phils are 38 and 52. In the Eastern League Western Division, the Harrisburg Senators are 51 and 41. The Erie Seawolves are 46 and 43. The Bowie Bay Sox are 44 and 45. The Akron Arrows are 44 and 47. The Flying Squirrels of Richmond are 42 and 48. And the Altoona Curve are at 40 and 50. So now that now that we know that the Rockcats have a couple guys that are hitting in the 300s, hopefully the run produ run production will step up. Uh, right now, leading the uh, leading the Rockcats in RBI is Pinto with uh, 62. Daniel Ortiz has 43. Pinto Nate Hansen has 34. Uh, Ronaldo Rodriguez has 34 as well. Nate Hansen has 34. So hopefully that could uh, step it up a little bit in the home run category. Pinto is also leading that at 13 home runs. Uh, Ronaldo Rodriguez is 11. Daniel Ortiz is 8. Uh, I want you. I, I want to ask our viewers to uh, tweet to us uh, uh, at SportsWire SWE, if you could uh, see it down at the bottom. I am going to ask you guys to tweet, tweet to us. I am going to go over something that uh, I was supposed to go over last week, actually, but uh, we never, Irving and I never got to. But uh, with Chris Davis, who just hit his 35th home run uh, tonight, I believe, he uh, tied Ken Griffey Jr. for the most home runs before the All-Star break. Second most behind uh, Reggie Jackson, who had 37, and uh, still got a couple games to go, so he could tie uh, Reggie Jackson as well over the weekend if he keeps going. But with him leading the home run category right now, people and one, especially one uh, writer from the Sun Times in Chicago, has uh, accused Davis of uh, taking PEDs. So tweet us your thoughts on that. We're going to go to our first clip, our our, our first.